I gave everyone the option to either pop a smurf, get the paddles, or the gray craftsman. And the uh, four people that responded on the Facebook page uh, all said the gray craftsman. So pull that in the garage, throw the paddle tires on it, and we'll see what the old turd wagon can do. So Rob from RS Motorsports up in New Hampshire, um, actually back in the day had a set of paddles that he ran on his Craftsman LT. But I think he had the MST series in his build and he called these, actually just made a post the other day from back in his memories, uh, calling these the axle killers. So I knew one of the front trans mounts was broken on the Craftsman and I'm glad that I looked because both of them are broken. So pulled out the welder, gonna weld that up before I go ahead and uh, the goal is to not shred an 820 but if you gotta shred an 820 it's gonna be on paddles got these from bear and took one of these hubs and stuffed it in there and was able to somewhat line up one of the bolt holes which is right there and then i went ahead and marked the other four holes drilled them out and they're gonna go on these five by four and a half bolt pattern hubs. Well, made a Facebook post and asked which tractor you guys wanted me to put the paddles on, either this one or Papa Smurf, and you guys all said this one. So we're gonna go see what these bad boys will do.
nasty nasty so on that last pull we went ahead and broke the ratchet strap so got the quad here with an actual strap gonna try and yank this out but as i suspected um you can kind of see uh how this works out this whole this hole gets pretty nasty pretty quick so 22 inch paddle tires if they were 25s we probably would have been able to clear this but those things don't act anywhere near oh, what i'm used to but i like them so we'll see if we can get this yanked out and maybe we'll go ahead and try and see what the paddle tires do on the rest of the ttc stuff and neutral might actually help out a little bit but big old suction cup hole So that's the holes it just came out of so realistically 22s ain't gonna clear this hole um it's it's a, it's an art science to be able to get a mud hole that is uh consistent and challenging you know what i mean it's not it's not difficult to make a mud hole where everyone just sinks um and to, I'll, I'll be completely honest i haven't figured out that science yet uh we did we did pretty decent this year with this hole for ttc but it's it's definitely definitely a science that it, you gotta know what you're doing to be able to get a, a good mud hole but like i said this is literally the bare bones mud mower or realistically somewhat of the bare bones of what you should be considered a mud mower it's got pulley swap locked rear end and uh off-road tires like if i mean you can call a stock lawnmower a mud mower if you're going to be playing in the mud but it's 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 so simple to build one of these to be capable like <laughs> it whether you spend thousands of dollars on these in the engine and tires and trans work and custom fab work you literally can get your shit walked on by something like this it, it all depends on it's 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 this this is what i love about the hobby is you can either spend thousands of dollars to have something cool and different or you can spend a couple hours several hours and a couple hundred dollars and you can have a very capable machine that you can take on group rides and have a good time but the issue is is most people don't want to take that time to actually work out the bugs and then they just have horrible machines on the trails well let's do some driving Yeah, I do. I end up getting hurt. 
Love to do the wall, but I will definitely die. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> I tell you what, I do not not enjoying the paddle. I tell you what, all these these tractor videos are starting to turn into long-winded rants for me. We will. I don't miss this bumpy ride one bit. See what we do here. Right up. Right back down. What do you think the paddles will do on the on the logs? See what that does. Oh. Kinda wanna go up over that, but. This is oh. Yeah, not wrong. You're getting a whole jitterbug going on here. I decided to come down here to the lake. I was gonna wash off in the yard. I'm a little bit concerned because the neighbors are over there mowing grass and they're kind of the stickler type. But um, I wanted to bring down the paddles and test them out in the sand. And the mower needs washed off. So I'll pull the mower down in the water, uh, wash it off and then see about monkeying around in the sand here for a little bit so I did just get done washing and noticed that the neighbor lady a uh, little bit ways over is watching me so I'm gonna hurry up and do this and then skedaddle
The lady's gone. I don't know where she went. I didn't see her over there. Hopefully that was enough for you guys.